If you use a trick I'm going to show you in this video when picking your stock and option trades, it will dramatically improve your returns immediately. There are a lot of factors that go into determining whether you'll be a successful long-term stock and option trader. But in this video, I'm going to assume that you only trade in solid, mature, and consistently profitable companies. Companies whose products and services are needed in all types of market environments. I'm going to also assume that you're not overpaying for these companies, even though the trick that I'm going to show you can possibly work over the short run, even when a company is considered overvalued. However, if you're overpaying for a company or trading cash secure put options in a company that's very overvalued, I encourage you to reconsider whether you should be trading in that company at this time. The trick I'm about to share with you works well over the short term, but over the long run, if a stock is overvalued, it will most likely decline in price. First, let me show you four charts of four different companies. One of these companies is a company that we initiated an option trade in two weeks ago. Because we use a trick that I'm going to share with you, we were able to close it out four days ago or 10 days after we entered this trade and we pocketed an annualized non-leverage return of 59%. Let's see if you can pick out which stock we did this with, but more importantly, why we did the trade in this company so that you too can do similar type of trades. Here you see the daily charts up in the top left corner, Microsoft, in the top right, Starbucks, in the bottom left, Tesla, and the bottom right, Campbell Soup. All these charts reflect the same time frame, the past eight months. On purpose, I haven't put any technical indicators on your only seeing candlesticks. Let's simply look at the charts. Now, if you didn't know anything about these companies, you're only trading based on the charts, there's one that to me is glaringly obvious that we most likely would not do a bullish trade in. Which one do you think that is? Let me give you a second here. If you pick the one in the top left, which is Microsoft, then I would agree with you. The reason is that as you can see now, it's in a strong downtrend on this daily chart. Over the past eight months, it has consistently made lower lows and lower highs on this daily chart. Because of that, I would not feel comfortable initiating a new bullish trade in Microsoft. I would, however, be willing to initiate a bearish trade in it. Now please don't misunderstand me. I love Microsoft as a company, and we actually have a position on in our main ops trading account right now in Microsoft. However, I would not feel comfortable initiating a new bullish position in Microsoft based on this chart. But what about the other three charts and companies? Let's go ahead and scratch off another one pretty quick just below Microsoft and that's Tesla. Again, Tesla is a company that I love. I even own a Tesla and it's an awesome vehicle. However, this chart does not get me very excited about making a bullish trade in Tesla. Notice between the purple arrows that again, Tesla has been in a downtrend over the past eight months. As you see in the red box, it does appear to be trying to find support just below 650 per share. However, if I quickly switch just this one chart over to a weekly chart, notice in the same bottom left corner at the orange arrow that we're now looking at the weekly chart of Tesla. Notice that where the red arrows are, that Tesla is now in a downtrend in this weekly chart. It is trading in the lower portion of this downward sloping channel but it is in a downtrend. Another reason why I would not feel comfortable taking a bullish position in Tesla is because of its current price to earnings. With a current PDE of over 99, it's just not a company that I feel comfortable taking a bullish position in at this time. So now we're down to two choices. At the top right, we have Starbucks, and on the bottom right, we have Campbell Soup. I know you guys are a very smart group of people, so based on what I said about the chart action of Tesla, you probably already scratched Starbucks off your list. Now I want to tell you that Starbucks is a company that I'm currently buying in my outright stock ownership account. And I also have an option position in this company in my main option trading account as well. However, as you can see now, it too is in an overall downtrend on this daily chart. Like Tesla, notice that in the orange box, it appears to be trying to find support right around $70 per share. The question is, will that support hold? Now I've switched just the Starbucks chart over to the weekly time frame. Notice that it is in a pretty strong downtrend on this weekly chart as well. It does appear that it's trying to find support around 70, and that's the reason why I started buying some outright and would be willing to do a neutral trade in Starbucks. However, this is not the most ideal setup for a bullish stock and option trade. That leaves us with probably the most boring company on the screen in the bottom right corner, which is Campbell Soup. By the way, if you want to be a more profitable stock and option trader, please do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. If you're finding benefit in this video, please also hit the like button. So the question is, why did I get so excited about this Campbell Soup trade? Now I've switched all four charts over to the four different time frames for Campbell Soup. And at the top left is the 15 minute, at the top right is the hourly, the bottom left is the daily, and in the bottom right corner is the weekly chart. I've moved them back to the day that we did this trade, which was on June 14th. Now I'm still not giving you all the information here, so I'm not revealing my trick yet. 
but I want you to understand what my thought process was before I get to that tip. Notice in three of the four time frames, Campbell's Soup is at some kind of support. The only exception is in the top left chart, which is the 15 minute chart. And the 15 minute chart is in my opinion, the least important one when we enter a trade. However, in the top right, we see that Campbell's Soup was at an area of support that was right at $45 per share. Whereas you can see at the green arrow, it had found support multiple times over the previous weeks. In the bottom left chart, which is the daily chart, notice at the white arrow that this area where it was at has served as support for it multiple times over the previous weeks. If you look back at early 2020 in January and again in March, notice that this is an area that has served as resistance for it. Remember that resistance, once broken through like it did in April, generally turns into support for a company. So Campbell's Soup is right back at this very strong area of support and resistance on the daily chart. Finally, over on the bottom right chart, the weekly chart, is that Campbell's Soup had come down to this yellow arrow, which was the previous wave's high. This area was also serving as support for it. If you look back throughout a lot of 2019 and all of 2020, and even a good portion of 2021, this area around $45 served as strong support for Campbell's Soup. Only two weeks during that whole time frame did it pierce that support, but the following week it was right back above this $45 area. Are you starting to see why I got so excited when I saw this? But there's one more piece of information that sealed the deal for me. And it's a trick that if you use it, it will dramatically improve your odds of being successful in your stock and option trades. Here's what I saw that made me feel very confident that we're about to enter a very high probability trade. Now I've switched over to a different charting system because I want to zoom in and show you some technical indicators. Now I've added in the green 50 and red 200 exponential moving average, but I've also added in the volume to these two charts. On the left is a daily chart and on the right is the weekly chart. Let's start with the left daily chart. Notice at the white arrow that Campbell's Soup had repeatedly over the previous month found support at this red 200 moving average. Ironically, it found itself right back at this moving average, which is right around $45 per share. Notice at the white arrow that it had been declining over the previous week. However, if you look down the volume section at the purple arrow, you see that the selling pressure had been dissipating. Looking over at the weekly chart at the yellow arrow, you see that Campbell Soup was finding support right around both the green 50 and red 200 exponential moving averages. Down the volume section, notice over the previous six months, Campbell Soup had been dominated for the most part by buyers. With all the support on multiple time frames, multiple bullish technical indicators, we decided to do a cash secure put option trade in Campbell Soup. Here you see the live trade alert I sent out my patrons as soon as we did this trade. As you can see in the blue box and at the blue arrow, because we wanted to give ourselves a little room to be wrong, I decided to sell the out of the money July 15th, $43 cash secured put option. For that, we were paid 85 cents per share. Well, what happened? Campbell Soup did exactly what we thought it was going to do. It found support at the red 200 moving average on the left daily chart, which you see at the white arrow, and it also found support over on the right weekly chart at the green 50 and red 200 moving average. Those supports propelled it up almost 10% over the next 10 days until you see in the left chart at the purple line, it reached an area that had previously served as resistance for it. Since the cash secure put option had declined by 82% in value and was only worth 15 cents per share, he sees an alert that I sent out to my patrons that we close this position out for that 15 cents per share. That means we put a net of 70 cents per share into our pocket. If you analyze that return based on the 10 days that we're in this position, it equates to an over 59% annualized non leverage return on capital. Even in a bear market like we're in right now, when you see almost all your technical indicators pointing in a bullish direction, when you see a stock finding support in multiple time frames at the same level, when you see moving averages lining up perfectly to support your stock, you can feel very confident that you're entering in a very high probability trade. If you'd like to receive alerts when we do trades similar to the ones I showed in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you really want to become a master at stock and option trading, it's vital that you know how to find positions where the odds are stacked in your favor. In the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Trade Options Like a Pro, I share with you my favorite tips and tricks to help you become a more profitable stock and option trader. So please check that video series out. I know it will really help you out on your trades. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.